this week, ranchers from across the West who utilize America's federal lands for grazing are here in Pendleton, Oregon for the Public Lands Council's annual meeting. And this report is brought to you by our friends at Ag Risk Advisors, providing risk management solutions for farmers and ranchers. For more information about livestock risk protection, visit agriskadvisors.com. Well, Montana PLC Chairman Vicki Olson says that it's more important than ever now for public lands ranchers to speak with a unified voice to help make sure that cattle and sheep remain part of America's federal landscape. Well, everybody needs a voice, but a unified voice and working together is how we get things done. I mean, uh, but working together, doing comments and, and uh, trying to get the regulations to where they work for everybody and making it work, but working together and everybody speaking from the same um, voice. I mean, we were just talking about the, the conservation rule and how many comments they had and who was gonna get counted and what was counted as far as substance and that kind of stuff. So yes, speaking together and everybody getting their, their voice heard, but speaking unified. Evanston, Wyoming rancher Sean Sims utilizes public lands for cattle and sheep in both Utah and Wyoming and says that the PLC annual meeting serves a very important purpose for ranchers. And this meeting allows us to get together and hear from the public lands managers and also develop our policies and direction for the upcoming years and the uh, issues that we're facing every year. There's seems to be never a ending issue or ending list of issues that we uh, face on public lands. And so this allows us to be able to collaborate with other, other producers and hear from those agencies on upcoming events that they have going on. Now for more information about the Public Lands Council and the important work it does every single day on behalf of America's public lands ranchers, just visit them online at Public Lands Council dot org.